Hello friends and fellow flute enthusiasts and welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny Lipford. Here on this channel we do uh, tips, tutorials, uh, recordings, cover songs, um, all sorts of things surrounding the Native American flute. Today, today's video is going to deviate a little bit from that. Uh, those of you that know me know that I dabble in lots of different flutes and uh, today is an announcement that we have partnered with another flute maker. We've brought another flute maker uh, into our partnership program and we're offering his flutes on our website. This is Eric the Flute Maker who lives on a bamboo grove in Southern Florida. So Eric's been making flutes for a really long time and as a matter of fact, some of my first transverse flutes, side blown, bamboo flutes, were made from him. So as I was perusing, um, doing some research, I stumbled back across um, Eric and decided to pick up the phone and have a conversation and what a delight that was and and so here we are uh, so I've gone through his website and I've picked out uh, well almost all of his flutes but um, eight flutes that I would love to play myself and love to offer to my customers now in this video we have eight flutes to show you I'm gonna go from largest to smallest um, and I'm not going to go in grave detail about any which one of them. I want to just give you kind of a snapshot. We are going to create some YouTube shorts here where I will do a little improvisation on these. But most of the details, dimensions, all that other stuff is going to be on my website. Now with this, know that bamboo is a natural product. So um, the how big it is, how slender it is, how long it is, that's their ballpark, um, the measurements on the website. So uh, with each one of these flutes, because of the material it's made, the size will differ a little bit. Even the ones that I got from Eric, I'm looking across them, so size and color of the material itself is going to vary. So anyway, I will get to the demo of these. We're gonna start, like I said, with the largest of them. And by the way, if you do hear any chatter in the room, uh, if you see anything move behind me, um, I have our dog Duke in here. So he may bark, he may growl a little, uh, but he won't bite. So we're gonna start here with the basket maker. So this is a transverse flute, a uh, little bit of a lengthy one. Here's how it sounds. <laughs> Next, we're going to move over to uh, one of my favorites. This is the Egyptian. Now this has um, a set of two holes, two sets of holes here on uh, pairs. And I like to use those with my index and middle fingers. There's also a thumb hole in the back. So um, there can be a little bit of space between uh, that thumb hole and the first playing hole. Here's how it sounds. some things in my room ringing. Uh, the Ravvast behind me is starting to illuminate. Um, so next we have um, two different styles of one flute. So this is best known, uh, we call it the oriental flute. Uh, it's best known as the tuning actually of our modern native style flute, a minor pentatonic, but also that of the Japanese shakuhachi. So this plays exactly like a shakuhachi. It's got four holes on top, thumb hole in the back, as does its transverse brother flute. So uh, four playing holes on the top of it and a thumb hole in the back. Here's how these guys sound. First, we're gonna start with the notch blown. <laughs>
scale on this again. I tighten up for that, um, for those highest notes. Um, the transverse plays exactly the same, minus the embouchure work that you have to do. Okay, we're going to keep moving here. And the next one that I have is many folks will be familiar with the South American Cana. Uh, Q-U-E-N-A, um, and so this plays a major scale, um, so we play all holes up. There are six on the front, and a thumb hole in the back gets you the octave note. This one is getting a little smaller, so we've got to tighten up just a little bit. some practice. <laughs> uh, the next, this is uh, this is uh, one of my favorites. Also, this is the Vivaldi minor. It has six holes on the top uh, where we place our middle fingers. Those have two of the smaller holes on the flute. Here's how it sounds. Could get lost in this one. All right, next we're going to go over. Oops, I did that one already. Next, we're going to go over to the Brazilian major. So, this plays a major scale. This is very close to my first transverse flute. It was this very same style, it was a note lower. Uh, so, this is a Brazilian major. I'm a little rusty. Probably not the best day to do a demo of these flutes. Uh, that's okay. I have two more, um, and they're they're really unique. So this one is called is this is a, another notch blown flute. Okay, um, and this one is called the Ice Age flute. Four holes on the top, a thumb hole in the back that's really really close to the top part of the flute. So the first playing hole is right here. Okay. And then we have, uh, I like to space this out where I don't use my middle finger, but I use it, I keep it on the flute just for some balance. And you can use the two fingers down here, um, or if you have smaller hands, you might get by kind of leaving the, the middle parts down. There's no holes there. So let's hear about this sound. There's a big jump between uh, this note and, and the thumb hole. So here we go. little story behind this flute too uh, which we will either link to or put some copy in our website on the next one the smallest one it's about the same size as the Ice Age flute just a little 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 skinnier um, this is the Chinese flute I really like this one there are five holes on the top I play with uh, my bottom hand playing the lower two and my upper hand playing um, the top three. There's also a thumb hole in the back of this flute.
by any means, they all have a very unique and different sound just um, by scale, but also by tonal quality um, and pitch. So lots of variety here. Uh, we're excited to offer these on our website. We do have a limited quantity uh, to start out with these and kind of see how they go. Uh, again, all specifics are going to be on the website with measurements, and we're also going to do some YouTube shorts to, uh, to demo these a little bit more and just to have some fun. And I may add some reverb to those. We'll, um, we'll see. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, Johnny Lipford here. And uh, if you're new here or if you watch a lot of these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and hit that little bell so you're notified when videos like this drop. We've got a lot of things planned for you coming. Uh, once we get into spring, we're going to spring into action. So friends, take care and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much.